Let's now wire the 24 volt contactor. This is a 24 volt DC contactor. Positive is red and the negative is black for the coil and all other, all other connections are the contact terminals. So let's power this up. Positive of my power supply goes to positive of the contactor, positive side of the contactor. And the negative goes to the negative side of the contactor coil. Let's turn it on to test if we wired it correctly. We can see how this contactor turns on when I turn that on. So that's wired correctly. That's the control circuit. Let's now wire the power circuit. Positive goes to one side. This terminal here is a line three terminal, but it doesn't really matter in this case. However, if it was an AC circuit, it wouldn't matter. You would have line one going to the line one, line two and line three and so on. So I'm just going to randomly choose the line three. I'm going to try and power the motor through this. The negative of the motor goes to the power supply. Let's turn this on. You see how it didn't work? That's because the contactor is disabled or is disengaged. Let's turn it on to see if the motor turns on. So we can see how as soon as the contactor coil is powered up, the power through this power circuit goes to this contact here and comes out to this motor and finishes the circuit. And that powers our motor. Let's do it again. Now we have three more contacts here that we can use. I'm going to use two more and I'm going to connect those two contacts to these lamps here. Let's do that. Let's disconnect this. Positive goes to line two. The line two or the T2 goes to the red LED. The negative of the red LED goes to the negative circuit. Let's turn that on. Nothing happens because the contactor is de-energized. Let's wire the third side as well. Positive goes to line three. The T1, sorry, line one, that was line one. Positive went to line one. And the T1 is going to the green LED. The negative of the green LED is finishing up here. So when I turn this on, nothing happens. Now let's see what happens when I turn the contactor on. You see how as soon as I turn the contactor on, all the contacts in there turned on and that turned on our motor, this LED and the green LED as well. And they're all powered through this power circuit here. It doesn't have to be this circuit, it could be a completely different supply, which is what the idea is behind the three phase, where you'll have a line one, line two, line three. They're all really independent of each other, but they're powering up or they're being powered through this contactor. I hope all this made sense. If you found this video useful, please like it. And if you want regular updates of my videos, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.